I am guessing you are wandering around the internet, not knowing exactly what to do or how to improve when you're trying to change your career into cybersecurity. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can become 37.76 times better within one year of starting your cybersecurity journey. This video is based on Atomic Habits by James Clear, and my favorite quote in the entire book is goals are good for setting a direction, but systems are good for making progress. I'm betting you're not making very much progress. Otherwise you wouldn't really be watching this video. Also comment below. What is the main difficulty you're having when trying to change your career into cybersecurity? Are you overwhelmed with the mass amount of information out there? Are you just confused on exactly what cybersecurity is? Leave a comment below and then comment and subscribe if you would like more advice on cybersecurity career. In his book, Atomic Habits, James Clear goes into the, the power of tiny habits. A lot of people don't realize what they do on a daily basis is basically what they're going to do for the rest of their life. They're not gonna get anything different than they have gotten if they don't change their habits. Success is the product of daily habits, not once in a lifetime transformations. A lot of people just think it's a one-time transformation, but it's just the small daily habits that you do that really makes a difference. He also goes on to say, if you just try to get 1% better every day, just 1%, then over a course of a year, you'll be 37.78 times better than what you were at the beginning of the year. I really find Find this idea of just thinking 1% way better than tackling an entire project because it's so overwhelming to think about all of the certifications you have to get and all the knowledge you need to get. Literally just one hour a day of studying for cybersecurity and trying to become better every single day. It also goes on to explain that this 1% has a compounding effect. You may not see any difference within a month or two months or three months and you may still be struggling, but if you stick to it, after six months, you're gonna be like, wow, I've learned so much. This is where most people quit because he also gives a graph and he calls it the plateau of latent potential. So in the beginning, you're gonna be grinding, you're gonna be going hard, and you think like after three months, you should be a pro. You're not gonna see those results and you're going to quit. Actually, that's when you really wanna just keep on doing it whether or not you want to or not. This 1% and you will see progress and you will get that cybersecurity job that you really want. So if you're feeling kind of hopeless now, now and you're putting in hours, I wouldn't worry about it. It does have a compounding effect and you can do it. And I also want to add my own personal experience. Just because you're putting in time doesn't mean you're getting better. You really have to start the intention that you are going to get better every time that you practice. And that leads on to how can you create a new daily habit? And the best way that I have found is to actually mark it off on habit trackers. There's really just a satisfaction on putting that X on each habit that you complete every day. And as long as you have the habits and you have the plan that you know what you're gonna do, then you just execute. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to watch endless amounts of YouTube videos trying to figure out how to get into cybersecurity. You're just executing executing and getting better every day. Although if you do want to watch more videos on cybersecurity, I do have some playlists all about cybersecurity that you can check out. Now the second main point James Clear mentions in his book Atomic Habit is that you need to change your identity to become what you want to become. So in this case, you're going to want to change your identity to become a cybersecurity professional. So instead of saying, I want to become a cybersecurity professional, you're gonna say, I am a cybersecurity professional, I am highly paid and I am amazing at what I do and I find great satisfaction in what I do. It's that identity shift that makes things easier. So for instance, a cybersecurity professional is always studying new things and learning about breaches that went on and attacks and all of that sort. And so when you change your identity, these habits just naturally follow. You don't need to force yourself to create these habits because it's just who you are. For instance, I, I'm not a party person, so I don't go to parties. It's not even a temptation. I have in my identity that I'm not a party person, so I don't go to parties. It's like, meh. But if I change my identity, which I could if I wanted to, be like, I love parties. I like it. It's 
That's all I want to do. And I would find it really hard to resist the temptation of going to parties because that would be part of my identity. So it's that identity shift into becoming a cybersecurity professional that's really important, especially if you are just beginning. So repeat after me, I am a cybersecurity professional. And then the next really important lesson he goes into is making a good environment when you're setting up a habit. So you really have to make it easy for yourself when you're practicing. So how can you make practicing obvious? Like, do you have the correct computer equipment or is your computer really slow? Because if you have a really slow computer, you're not going to want to get on the computer and then load up more stuff that just crashes your computer. So make sure you have the proper equipment. Also, how can you make it more attractive? The best way that I found to do this was to gamify things. I actually, I make work fun just because I gamify it. I'm like, oh, this is just a ton of fun. It's just a game. So I'm just at work having a game and I'm like, people are stressing for no reason. This is just a game, it's not that serious. And also my productivity goes up because I made it attractive. And it's not even like I'm working that much because I'm just playing a game. And then how can you make it easy? So a problem that I have is I'm kind of scattered and I can't find things. So if you can just have everything laid out and ready to go, like say when you wake up in the morning or after lunch or come home at night and you have your virtual machines and you know exactly what you're going to do, you're making it easy for yourself. Otherwise, it's so easy not to do it. You'll be like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow, but there is no tomorrow. You only have the present. Also, how can you make it satisfying? I just find gamifying it satisfying because if I'm winning at my job or at what I'm doing, it's just like a, a game. Or same with this YouTube videos, it's just a game. He states in his book that you're going to want to take inventory of your current habits. Once a habit becomes part of your identity, you don't even realize that you do it. For instance, I like, I kind of had like a shopping problem, but I didn't realize I had a shopping problem until I evaluated my habits. The way that you take inventory is always think every time that you do something, do you think that this will propel you in the direction that you want to go? So if you need to do cybersecurity VMs, but instead you're watching TV, is that who you want to be? And then always remember like what you're doing, watching Netflix or whatever is basically going to be what you're doing in like 10 years. And he also goes on to say in his book, a really important lesson is you need to have clarity. And if you are wandering around YouTube about cybersecurity or the internet, there's not that much good information about all of the careers that exist. I do have a template below for 50 niches and hopefully that will help you hone down on certain niches that you want in the cybersecurity world. I also do have a course coming out on different framework of cybersecurity jobs. Another important topic he talks about is motivation. A lot of time you're not going to be motivated. For instance, I'm not really motivated to make this video right now, but I am still doing it. If you have your environment set up, then it becomes way easier it's easier just to change your environment. So for instance, if you can move apartments and set up a new studio, that would probably be the best thing that you could do. If not, maybe you could change rooms, but you want to make your environment really conducive to you working. So if you're working at a dining room table, maybe get a desk and then make it a really attractive desk. I'm not sure like what your situation is, but make it as attractive as possible. Another really good and last lesson he says in his book, Atomic Habits, and this can apply to changing your career into cybersecurity is make sure you have friends and family that support you or you join certain communities that are really just wanting you to get a job in cybersecurity such as this channel because the culture that you're saturated in does have a strong effect on you. And so if your friends aren't wanting to improve on their life or they aren't willing to help you or support you in this new change and oftentimes they're not going to then you're gonna have a hard time changing your career because you don't have that daily support. And those people are so embedded in your daily systems and your thinking that maybe you would just quit altogether because you have so much doubt that you can't do it. It just takes a little bit of inspiration and hope 
that you can get a job in cybersecurity just from one person. Let's join a group where the desired behavior is the normal behavior within that group. For instance, tons of like WGU groups and the normal behavior is to study. It's your desired behavior. So by joining these study groups, you're just going to study better for IT and cybersecurity topics than you would if you weren't in these groups. So surrounding yourself with cybersecurity professionals and all of that would be really beneficial to you. And those are just the main points on, those are just some of the main points on how to get 37.86% better at cybersecurity within just one year. I do have tons of other playlists to help guide you on your journey. So check those out and I will see you there. Bye.